Hi there Taurus, this is your reading with me for November 2021 for love. We're going to have a look, see what's coming through and what messages, information and clarity I can give to you. I just wanted to mention as well that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information is also down below. They're done within 12 to 24 hours with me. And also intention items are on my website, which thousands of people have seen results with. There's the review section at the bottom of my website. And um, on my website, there are bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow, your wallet or your purse, which are meditated with and saged as well. And there's also crystals and sage and divination coins, etc. There's so many items, including also the candles, which have been restocked. These are handmade, hand-poured, fire, well, safety tested and for lots of different intentions, as you can see. So we have the soulmate one, we have the twin flame one. There is also a love one as well. Reconciliation, protection, evil eye. They're all completely unique and very, very different as well. So you can check them out on the website, all the pictures and stuff. They are on there. But uh, yeah, these are also plant-based as well. So they are they actually last a really long time too so if you're interested you know do check those out everything is of course linked down below there is a discount code as well if you'd like to use that okay so let's have a look and see what we have for your love reading taurus oh the crystal is just like shaking okay there we go <laughs> right taurus oh star the birth of something new. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you know, a lot of the times I start saying things and the cards literally represent what I'm trying to say. So yeah, the birth of something new. Look at this. There's going to be a change in your life in November where something absolutely incredible is going to manifest. The star is about, you know, a wish come true. It is about joy. It is about fulfillment. It is really about the stars aligning as well. And the Wheel of Fortune is one of the most like prosperous, auspicious cards in tarot. It is so beautiful because Jupiter is to do with prosperity, abundance, expansion, movement, um, fulfillment, happiness. Um, Jupiter is also to do with Thursdays, so keep that in mind for November. There can be something really beautiful that happens on Thursdays where you just feel really happy, content, fulfilled in regards to love. Especially if you're talking to someone, it could be that Thursdays are just a better day for you where you're talking to them and things just seem to flow a lot better. Thursdays are the day of Jupiter, so keep that in mind. But yeah, there's something beautiful about Thursday. Hmm. Well, you have many Thursdays, I would say, in November, so something to keep in mind. Wow, I, I just, those two cards, incredible, the way that they came out. Let's see what else we have here. I'm also going to be pulling um, these Romance Angel Oracle cards too, so we will get to those as well, just in case you're wondering what these cards are. Three of Pentacles, yeah, someone here really wants to talk to you, make things work with you, be around you, share your energy. See, the Three of Pentacles is like this energy of teamwork and collaboration where they want to really be around you and really just uh, share time with you. It, it, oh, yes. Sorry, this is actually my um, the cable for my microphone, which I'm just moving. Um, oh, Ace of Cups. Love. Love is on the horizon here. You're on the verge of true love. You really are. I mean, the Ace of Cups really does come it does go to show that there's someone coming your way. For some of you, it took releasing something that really was not nice and really burdening to witness this true love now coming in in November. And for others of you, it's just going with the flow, living in the here and the now, and not worrying yourself sick about, you know, love and things like that, that actually really allows love to flow beautifully into your life. This cup is a full cup. This is not a half cup. This is not a one third of a full cup. This is a full cup that is flowing with abundant love. Someone here wants to express their love towards you. They will do so in November. They want to meet up. They want to talk. They want to communicate with you. They want to expand their life with you because that's also Wheel of Fortune. Oh my goodness, wow. All right, Taurus, let's keep going. Yep, see, someone here wants to take action towards you, for sure. Yep. Ace of Pentacles. Oh, there's a card that's actually flipped over here, which is the Eight of Pentacles as well. Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles sounds super, super similar. 
moon. See, this, this is hidden. So some of you may feel like, I don't see it right now. I don't see anywhere moonlight. Well, that's because it's hidden. It, it's going to come into your life, right? So the moon with the sun shows that what's hidden is going to come into your life. You may not even recognize or realize that this person has feelings towards you or cares towards you or has this much of a well feeling towards you, but actually they really do. And they're going to be so much more progressive towards you. They're going to tell you exactly how they feel towards you. And it's all going to come to the surface. They're going to really share this with you. So just know that even if you don't feel it right now, it will happen. It's just a bit of a process. And the moon definitely goes to show that there are some hidden emotional feelings that someone around you has towards you. And some of you already know who this person is, but some of you it's completely hidden. So keep that in mind, but their feelings are definitely hidden from what I see. Ace of Pentacles, yeah, they wanna come forward and express this to you. They're finding the, they're trying to find the right time because they also don't wanna be rejected. You know what I mean? Eight of Pentacles. Oh yeah, they wanna work towards your energy. I don't think you need to chase this person. So if you're wondering, oh, I know, I think I know who this is, Moonlight, should I go towards them? No, let them come towards you. I think that's very important. Let them come towards you. Let them make moves towards you. Let them progress towards you because they will do so. It's also best you let them come towards you. Yep, see, Page of Wands, they will initiate things with you, come towards you in their own time. They really like you. Like, they like your personality. They like your warmth. They like your charisma. They like those stable aspects within yourself. You know what I'm talking about, Taurus. You're a stable person. Uh-huh. So then there is that. So they really do like that about you. Let's have a look at these oracle cards. Amazing. I'm just really speechless with those um, first cards that came out. I mean, I'm just like, wow, like that is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing just the ways in which they came came out. Okay, hold on a second. Let me just get one more because I'm aiming for five, so just get another one out. Okay. So, oh, okay. Now, this deck does not have a twin flame card, okay? So we have got a soulmate card, so just keep in mind, and I'm gonna show these cards to you, just keep in mind that it says soulmate, but it can also mean twin flame. This deck does not have a twin flame energy tied to it. There's actually quite a few Oracle decks that were made like way back when, way back then, should I say. Um, and the twin flame is, the twin flame energy is a bit more of a new age energy. So, well, it's a bit more of a new age term. Okay. So we have here, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. Okay. So obviously, the energies are saying that you can give this a chance, you can give this a go, but obviously let them come towards you, which is important also with this particular card, which says free yourself, it's time to take back control of your life. So don't be afraid of doing things for yourself. You don't need to wait for this person. Keep doing what you're doing. Take charge of yourself. Take control of your life. Be the unicorn that you are. You don't need to wait for them. You don't need to chase after them. This is just about freeing your energy, especially with a star, living in the here and the now. You don't need to you know, go after them in that sense because they'll come to you, you know what I mean? Um, past life relationship, you've known each other before, so you'll feel very connected to this person. You'll just feel like the conversations are endless. You could talk to them about anything and everything. You just feel like you can look into their eyes and you see you see something that you just haven't seen in anyone else. And that's because you've had a past life connection before, which makes sense also with this card, which is soulmate. You know, yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, so for many of you, it is a soulmate, but for some of you, you may resonate with the fact that this could even be a twin flame. So just keep that in mind. But um, for sure, very, very strong spiritual connection energy, which we see. Okay, we spoke about free yourself. You know, that's really beautiful energy. And this says, you deserve love, you are lovable. Just in case anyone's been thinking to themselves, I mean, like, am I really going to be loved? Is someone really going to love me? Don't even question it, okay? Don't question it. Don't question it. I'm telling you, don't question it, Taurus. Absolutely. You are totally, totally lovable. Things are going to come your way, give you so much happiness. November, I really do believe that this reading, oh my god, this is one of the best readings, truly. <laughs> it's so incredible. Just that beginning portion is just mind-blowing. So, yes, Whoa, Taurus. Okay, so if this reading resonated with you, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, especially also if you claim it as well, you know, like and subscribe. Don't forget to comment down below if you wanted to. Let me know. <laughs> I always read the comments. And also you can check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, reading giveaway, intention items, which are on my website as well. Don't forget to also 
Um, check out my TikTok and Instagram if you wanted to. I post short readings on there every single day and take care everyone. Bye!